That voice isn't real in your head. Those thoughts are not real in your head. You think you know who you are. Underline think. think, think, think. That's the veil. The veil, the veil, the veil. But everything is in plain sight. Everything is, is waving at you, going, hey, hi, this is it. You're home. Hey, hi, this is it. You're home. You're home. This is it. You're home. You really think you're a human. You really think you're in time. You think time is real. That you're on a journey to succeed, a journey to find God, a journey to discover the true self. It's always singing to you. It's always dancing in front of you. Sometimes screaming at you. You're home. When you go looking for it, you veil it. When the mind comes in and goes, this cannot be it, I cannot be it, it literally pulls the shades down on this. This is it. This is it. The beloved is hiding in plain sight. Hey, hi, this is it. You're home. You're home. This is it. It's looking through your eyes. You're home. There is no path. There is no journey. The journey and the path is the dream. It's a complete and total dream, and it's a trap. It is a total trap to think you're going to find what is right here in a future time, because time is an illusion. It's a complete illusion. It's an appearance. It doesn't exist. You're home. There is no out there, and there's no in here, and there's no over there, and there's no backwards. There's just this. This is it. But at the core, there is no core. There's no core here. This is emptiness, dancing, particles of light taking shape and moving and sound into form. Hey, hi, this is it. You're home. You're home. This is it. You're home. You're it. And this is it. All of it. This is it. It is all God or the beloved or no thing disappearing as that. Light taking shape. These are all words. So really they can't encapsulate this. <laughs> but you are home. Hey, hi, this is it. You're home. You're home. You're home. I love you, my friends. This is a dream, a dream of separation. Apparently, this dream of separation is just a dream. There's no one dreaming, so no one needs to wake up because no one ever slept. Since it's a dream, there's never been any separation at all. This is just the wholeness appearing in a dream of separateness but it's not appearing for anyone because there's never been anyone it's just a dream dreaming by itself this is just an illumination 
that this is a dream, a dream of separation. There's never been anyone here. There's nothing to get, there's nothing to understand, because this is a dream. This is a dream. There's no one here. This is a dream. There's no one here. This is a dream. There's no one here. This dream of separation is just a dream. There's no one dreaming, so no one needs to wake up. It's just a dream dreaming by itself. It's very simple. No one's dreaming it. So there's no you and I. There's no we. There's no one. There's no my. There's no I. There's no self. There's no we. There's no us. It's a dream. It's just a dream. Wholeness. Dreaming of itself. Not we dreaming. Not I dreaming. It's just wholeness dreaming of itself. Wholeness dreaming in separation. Timelessness dreaming in time. And no one has any control of the dream. It's just a dream dreaming by itself. Whatever seems to be happening is just what's happening. It's a dream. This is a dream. There's no one here. This is a dream. There's no one here. This is a dream. There's no one here. This dream of separation is just a dream. There's no one dreaming, so no one needs to wake up. There's no you or me, there's no separation here. It's just a dream. And the dream is being exposed. This is wholeness appearing as separation. There's never been anything separate, never been anything um, there's never been anything <laughs> and it's as simple as that there's never been anything this is a dream there's no one here this is a dream there's no one here this is a dream there's no one here this dream of separation is just a dream. There's no one dreaming, so no one needs to wake up. A dream is just another word, you know, for something that is a mystery, right? But it's not really a dream because there's no one dreaming. You can't really describe it. You can't call it a dream. You can't call it a mystery. Because those are just words trying to describe the wordless. There's no enlightenment. There was never a beginning. There was never a person to be born and died. So there was no interruption in that journey because there's no journey. There is no start. There's no, there's no time. There's no space. There's no movement. There's nothing. There's no possibility of a subject, of a doer. There's no self, there's no people, there's no one. These are just concepts, these are just stories. These are just, these are just words. Meaningless sounds, actually. It's just sound playing with sound, apparently. And that's all there is. There's no enlightenment. Just sound, playing with sound, meaningless sound.
from what? From nothing. Where? Nowhere. <laughs> There's no enlightenment. It's just a word. It's just a word which is meaningless in itself. It's just a sound. What I say, it's hopeless, it's meaningless, and it leaves no place for interpretation. And what I say, what I say, it's only echoing. It's not this, it's not that. What I say, it's obvious, and not obvious at the same time, because there's no seer, knower, or uh, an actual person, an actual filter. What I'm saying is that this is seeing already without a subject or an object. But it's not even seeing, because there is no seer. There's no enlightenment. These are just, these are just words. Meaningless sounds, actually. It's just sound playing with sound, apparently. And that's all there is. There's no enlightenment. This is awesome. This is awesome because it leaves no it leaves no room for knowing. So you don't have to make sure that you know it or not. It's pure unknowingness. Pure unknowingness. There's no no getting this because there's no one to get it. No one to get it. It's not even this because it's it's not a concept. <sighs> it's impossible to put in words. These are just words. Meaningless sounds, actually. It's just sound playing with sound, apparently. And that's all there is. There's no enlightenment. It's hard because, in fact, there just is no issue. In that sense, there is no issue and there is no message. There's nothing to say about this because it's just whole and complete and, yeah, there's nothing to say in that sense. It's just whole and complete. There's nothing to say about this. It's just whole and complete. There just is no issue. Somehow it's almost, to make an issue out of it is artificial. It's part of the dream of me that thinks that there is an issue about that, a separate issue, let's say. Some truth, something that me can talk about, which in fact there isn't. It's just whole and complete. There's nothing to say about this. It's just whole and complete. but it goes to the core of me being someone as an experience, as a, as a felt reality. And in a way that is what me is, a sense of I am present, really, I'm here. No matter what I think, I mean me in a way can even think that it's not there, talk itself into not being there. But it's still, there's the sense of presence. Because in a way, the one who feels separate only consists of the sense of being separate. So it won't come closer than just being very close, which is a story. It's just whole and complete. It can only stay separate because that's all it does to experience itself as separate. But in the end, the separation is illusory. It's just whole and complete. This is wholeness, or this is no thing. As it already is, that's the miracle. And in a way, that, that is that me can't access. It's just whole and complete. Because me thinks that, okay, this may be wholeness, 
but still something has to happen with me or for me. Like, oh, okay, this is wholeness, but now I have to get it. It's just whole and complete. It just already is wholeness. Or the unknown. Or Actually, there is no real word for this. It's just whole and complete. And that's what it looks for in the end. Something that is real. Something that is really real, that I can find or that I can count on. Or a real solution. So to say this is real and unreal, or this is illusory. Somehow for the me, it's unfulfilling. Because in a way it, it immediately thinks, oh it's just an illusion. But I want to have the, the truth. It's just whole and complete. Because in a way, that's it, the me, the sense of I am, only consists of not, not being able to say yes to this. Because it completely isn't its experience. It's not because it can't get it, because it's just not its experience. Because all it does is to experience this as not it. It's just whole and complete. It's already it. Not for you, not for me, not for anyone, because there re isn't anyone real. But that's that's it already. It's just whole and complete. So there is no waiting. There's nothing to wait for. Nothing to wait for. There's nothing to come. Nothing to come. There's nothing that will be. Nothing that will be. So there is no waiting. There is no waiting. There's nothing to wait for. Nothing to wait for. There's nothing to come. Nothing to come. There's nothing that will be. Nothing that will be. So there is no waiting. There is no waiting. All the ideas we have of separating what we call life into segments, into compartments, into time span, into now and then, they're just tricks of the mind. And they're completely illusory. Completely illusory. That isn't actually how it is. How it is, is unknowable. You can't know how this is. It already is how it is. It's that simple. So outrageously simple. There isn't anything to work out. There isn't anything to get, or understand, or learn, or unlearn. There isn't a life to come. There is just life. There's nothing to wait for. Nothing to wait for. There's nothing to come. Nothing to come. There's nothing that will be. Nothing that will be. So there is no waiting. There is no waiting. There's nothing to wait for. Nothing to wait for. There's nothing to come. Nothing to come. There's nothing that will be. Nothing that will be. So there is no waiting. There is no waiting. So, it's not that I stop waiting, it's just that there's nothing to wait for. There is only what's happening. And even that is only seemingly, it's just what seems to be happening. There's nothing that will be happening. There's nothing better that's going to happen. Or worse. There isn't a life to come. There is just life. There's nothing to wait for.
you know, I hope that what I'm going to say now is actually stunningly obvious. I hope it is. In actuality, there is just this. There is no self. I mean, that is the absolutely most basic and simple way of putting it. There is no self. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. There is no self. And the nature of this is unconditional love. Unconditional love. There is no chance of there being a central self with autonomy. The person who feels separate and who feels that they can do something to end their separation is a false person anyway. There's just life happening. There's simply whatever is happening. What we're talking about here is a loss. It's it's not a gain, it's it's simply a loss. It's the loss of the sense that there was ever a person who did anything. Free will is an illusion. What happens simply happens. So the suggestion from here is that that can be directly seen. In a way, we're talking about something which is simply seen. And it's not seen or understood by the mind. You know, in the seeing that we're talking about, it's seen that space is unreal, time is unreal. There is no self. There is no self. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. There is no self. And the nature of this is unconditional love. Unconditional love. In a sense, I mean, we are engaging in a hopeless task here. We are trying to describe the indescribable. There's just this. What, just this? Yes. Just this. And this isn't somewhere else. This isn't something else. It's here. There's no escape. There's no finding. Nor losing. There is no path to get here. Of course there isn't. There's no path and no traveling. Just this. What, just this? Yes. Just this. You can't hear it or see it. There's nothing to be seen, just everything that's seen. There's nothing to be heard, just hearing. There is just what's going on, what seems to be going on. The illusion is that you know what's going on. You never know what's going on. There's simply no knowing. It's simply, here it is, just this. What, just this? Yes. Just this. Here this is. As it is. Astoundingly simple. Just like. Just this. What, just this? Yes. Just this. Just this. What, just this? Yes. Just this.
There is no person to fall away. That's just a story. I've been telling a story. A story. Saying that it falls away is is misleading. Because nobody falls away. Nothing is actually happening in that regard. There is no person to fall away. Because who would fall away? Who would fall away? It's just a change in appearance, but even that even suggests that every time there's a suggestion like that, the seeker will get hold of that and see it as a vague glimmer of hope that I can fall away. But this person that looks at it as a vague glimmer of hope is not even the person. It's just this, it's just what's happening. See, nothing moves, nothing goes anywhere. See, nothing moves, nothing goes anywhere. There is no person to fall away. Because who would fall away? There is no awareness, because there is no one to be aware. There is no person, because there's no one to be a person. There is no no person, because there's no one to be a no person. There is no person to fall away. Because who would fall away? There is no person. There is no freedom. There is only what is. See, what we do in this message is we separate out the person and we separate out a so-called non-person, but there's neither, because there's nobody. There's just what's going on. And that is absolute. So there's never a hope of anybody dropping away because there isn't anybody to drop away. It's just this. The future is a fiction, the past is a fiction. Everything is fiction, is a story. A story. And the person is also a fiction. A story. There is no person to fall away. That's just a story. A story. Because who would fall away? There is no one to drop away. There is nobody here. There's only everything here. And everything can appear as being somebody. That doesn't matter. Because this doesn't care what it appears as. Because it is everything. Everything's in its right place. Because how could it be otherwise? (laughs) (gasps) So what can you say? What can you say about this, which is not even a this? There's nothing to be known, nothing to be seen, and no one through which all these experiences happen. There's not even an experience, apparently. (laughs) I'm not actually pointing to something, because this is way too obvious. It's, It's unknowingness, it's unknowingness. We have no words to describe this. This is nothing. This is nothing, and it can't be put in a box, it can't be understood, and it's not even what I say. It's that mind-blowing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. It's a slap. It's a slap from the cosmos. 
and it says that there's no cosmos, there's no time, there's no space, there's nothing, and not even that. <laughs> <laughs> It's undescribable. It's it has no translation. <laughs> There is no way to this. Because it's not this, it's not that. It's no appearance, it's it's no concept that can be known. It can't be understood. It can't be understood. There's no room for any attempt at knowing. What I'm saying is direct, it's just whew, voice. It's a slap, it's a slap from the cosmos. And it says that there's no cosmos, there's no time, there's no space, there's nothing. And not even that. It's a slap, it's a slap from the cosmos. And it says that there's no cosmos, there's no time, there's no space, there's nothing. And not even that. I'm not talking about concepts. What I say, it's obvious. What I say is direct. What I say, it's not even said. It's uncomprehendable and it can't be contained in a concept, in a segment, in an idea. This is worthless. If we take away these words, so it doesn't matter if there is silence or words or whatever, it's already what's happening and not even that. It's a slap. It's a slap from the cosmos. And it says that there's no cosmos. There's no time. There's no space. There's nothing. And not even that. There is no wholeness or completeness. But it's not, it's not the opposite also. There are no extremes. <laughs> so it's not limit or limitless it doesn't have a boundary and it's not boundless either it's not even that it's undescribable unknowing and it makes no difference so it's not separated from the whole so it's not a piece from the background it's the background itself appearing as a piece and it's still the background not being the background at the same time because there's nothing there's nothing if that makes sense because it doesn't <laughs> this doesn't make sense it's not even a message because who would hear it who would know about the message it's a slap it's a slap from the cosmos and it says that there's no cosmos there's no time there's no space there's nothing and not even that it's a slap it's a slap from the cosmos and it says that there's no cosmos, there's no time, there's no space, there's nothing. And not even that. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> So you're looking for your own death and here it is. <laughs> Everything that you've ever looked for is here. It's this. Because you're a dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Because you are dead. 
there's no somewhere, there's no better place. This is it, this is death. So everything that you're looking for is the end of story. And this is the end of the story. This is death. This is death. The death of the words. The death of the concepts. The death of meaning. The death of belief. The death of hope. The death of purpose. The death of ideas. The death of suffering. The death of liberation. The death of expectation. The death of everything. So what's left is this. Isn't it stunning? <laughs> and it's so simple. People are afraid of it, but it's what's being looked for. That's what people want is death. Everything that you've ever looked for is here. It's this. Because you are dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Because you are dead. Death is nothing. Death is paradise. Everyone's afraid of death, but it's looking at them. It's them. Death is a story, and so are you. And this is death. This is the end of the story. The end of the idea that this is a story, the end of the storyteller, this is the end. No one dies. This is death already. Because you are dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Because you are dead.